It's Wednesday time for our weekly trip out to the new zoo. And Neil Anderson joins us again live from Swamico. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning. Well, I'll tell you what, we have a first time experience for everybody. You're going to get an opportunity to see the little red panda cub. And this will be my first time, too. Oh. He's 57 days old. And uh, Dr. Gilbert's going to go ahead and uh, give him his vaccination, do an overall check. But you can see we got Tybo back here. Hi, Tybo Tybo. is going to be heading up to the animal hospital, and we're going to see in the 8 o'clock hour uh, what we're going, we're going to do is we're going to tranquilize him. We're going to take a look at his teeth, uh, go ahead and vaccinate him. But we want to make sure, you know, that things are he's starting to drool a little bit. So we want to go ahead and, and check his teeth out because he's 13 and uh, this will give us an opportunity. But check this out. This is the first time I'm getting an opportunity really? to go ahead and see the little red panda cub. And you see, well, <laughs> and I actually thought he was going to be a lot smaller than that. But you see, you can si see the size of this little guy. Oh, now, <laughs> isn't he cute? Oh. Now, Doc, what are we what are we doing right now with uh, as far as vaccinations with the especially with red panda? Well, red pandas are very susceptible to canine distemper. They're actually in more of the raccoon family than anything else. Um, and he's about eight weeks old now, so it's time for his first canine distemper shot. We've got a special vaccination that we get made up just for him that's um, very safe, won't cause any problems. But he woke up cranky from his morning nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's now, see so with these, cute. Well, you know what, when they're born, I mean, they're less than a quarter pound and they're all gray colored, you know, pink skin, and you know, there's no fur, you know, on the <laughs> bottom of the paws like the adults. Isn't it looking. until they get about yeah. 50 days old that they start getting all the coloring. Now Jess was just saying just in the last few days, even the rings on the tail, she can go ahead and see. And those are all coming in. You know when they're about 18 days old, uh, you know, their eyes open. And uh, at that particular time, you know, otherwise, like say, you know, when they're born, you know, I mean, they're almost completely blind for about 18 days. Uh, the guard hairs, the little red guard hairs on these guys uh, start coming out at about 14 days old. Now, now, mom, you know, they're not fully weaned until they're oh, about five months old as well. But what you see, like this morning when you're looking at, you know, we had the male and the female, they were up sleeping together, and they keep the little one away in a separate den. And she will, you know, like throughout the, the course of a day, you know, and this is a normal activity too, is that they'll go ahead and move their little one to different preferred den spots, anywhere from like one to eight times something in that order and that's just uh, you know something that they want to do to make sure that uh, things are taken Aww. care of and then you know as there far as nursing go. now here's at this age right now he'll actually even try a little bit maybe some of the bamboo leaves if if mom will chew up a little bit of the leaves he'll start testing a little bit on that but it's until about Wait. 90 days that they're actually uh, able to go ahead and eat solid food on a regular basis. He, he's learning at an early age about, you know, vaccinations <laughs> and how to how to treat doctors and stuff, right? <laughs> That's Get away right. from me. Get away from me. <laughs> he's well, he's cooking he a lot better than ready. some of <laughs> humans I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. As you can see, he's got pretty good nails right now because check oh, yeah. take a look at Jess's gloves. <laughs> oh, my arm. Oh, <laughs> oh, they're oh, shredded. <laughs> <laughs> they're shredded. <laughs> well, Neil, we have well, to leave it. We have to leave it there. What a we'll, cute little guy. Yeah, oh, just unbelievable. Thanks for letting us, uh, letting us watch. Uh, and and you Dr. remember, Robert. you know, for the visitors, you know, in probably about two weeks, this little guy's going to be out and about. Oh, the, he's in the exhibit, but you'll really get a chance to see him because that's about the time they're out and about. All right, Excellent. we'll be back in two weeks for sure for that. <laughs> Thanks, well, then we'll see you next hour. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Sounds like a pig kind of, doesn't it? A little snort yeah. going on, yeah.